My name is Ariana Jimenez. I am a Brewster student, and my project was about a portable AC. For the materials, you'll need a good size um, ice chest, like this one, so you could trace a fan and a one-third inch pipe. And then you'll also need a chainsaw, a little chainsaw so you could cut around the foam. If not, you, if it's too dangerous, you could just use scissors. Okay, and um, you can see here that you have to connect all the things into all the things into a little generator, solar, a solar panel, or a connection, whatever it's good for you. And then for the steps, what I did was I went, I um, got a little pencil, I traced the fan on the pipe so it could be a good size, so no air could escape from the ice chest. And then you glue it to the foam and make sure it's really tight or else the air would come out too. And then um, you get you get a little jigsaw or a chainsaw, it doesn't really matter, and you cut it and then you glue it with hot glue, any type of glue that would, it would stay there. Okay, the questions that I had for this project was that how does the ice interfere with the with the air, my hope, my hypo was since the air, since the ice is cold, it will probably make the air warm, I mean, colder than by itself because, um, because it might not been colder if we didn't have any ice. There. And I also thought, why would we have an in a one third inch pipe? Why can't we have a bigger one? And my hypo was that it might release the air if it's smaller and thicker. And um, will, what connections would be better? The solar panel, the connections, or a car, a car um, generator? I thought um, the generator would be better because it has more energy than the solar panel and the, and the Connections. The connections will maybe, but the solar panels will take a lot, a long time to charge up with the sun. And um, well, and then what I did in my table is the number of tries. I did it three times because what you always have to do is is remember to to always repeat the investigation one more than more than one time because your results may not be the same and you'll probably understand better why it didn't work the first time. So I'm going to try my project real quick. You already have the ice in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want the kids to feel it? Okay, line up and walk around like this and go feel it. Now face it to me. Face it to me. Turn it straight to me. Well, you're giving it to Caleb. I'm over here. Can you feel it? Oh, coming. Yes. Yes, I do. So now you can see that it actually works. <coughs> what I did was I put the ice inside here. And what I also did was that um, you don't really have to fill it up. It could either work with a little bit or a lot of ice. So um, my conclusion was that this, the portable AC, can save energy, money, and when you have a blackout, you could just use this in, in, when it's hot in the night, and you could just use it and it won't really charge you anything. And you could um, use this, the generator, any type of generator to power it. So that's how I got my project. Thank you.